Hi Aquarius, Trishna here. Welcome to your May 2019 reading. What I'm feeling for you is leading up into May, I feel like you're feeling really good. Things are going really well for you. You are making more progress than you thought you would by now. More progress than you expected. Things are starting to become clearer. You have some ideas. You know what direction you're going in and it's just really nice to have something start to make sense and start to find some clarity. So that's really exciting. You put in the work, pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. This is Awesome, really awesome. So going into May, I feel like the month is really gonna be a little less a little less exciting. It's gonna be more of putting in the work because now you have this great idea. You have this more concrete plan. You know what direction you're going in. You know what needs to be done or you're about to know what needs to be done. You're about to build that plan. And May is gonna be all about executing to that plan. And coming up with an idea can be difficult, but it's also really the exciting part. But then executing it really requires that patience. It requires that day in, day out work. It requires being consistent. It requires not looking for the big, huge validation, but rather focusing on the little wins every single day and using those little wins every single day to push you to the next day and to the next day. So May is going to be all about getting down to the nitty gritty and doing the actual work to build the idea and make the idea a reality. It's not the most exciting stuff, but it is very, very important. It's sometimes the most important part. So that's what May is gonna really be for you. <clears throat> the challenge that I feel for you for May is that, you know, things are gonna, things are going well. Things are going well, things are gonna be moving forward, even if slowly, you know, in May, because you're plotting through and doing the actions, but they are moving forward and you have tons of great ideas and you're going to have even more great ideas in May. There are going to be lots of them. So the challenge for you is going to be really making sure that you are very selective in which ideas you choose to move forward with. Because you have an idea and you have a plan and then you're going to have all these other ideas. You want to make sure that the ideas move you forward and don't just expand you. Because, you know, when you have a main idea, you can have ideas that add on that move you forward you can have ideas that pull you backwards and you can have ideas that keep you lateral that move you laterally and you want to make sure that right now the ideas that you're doing move you forward the other ideas the ones that move you laterally you can do just at a different point in time right now they would be more distractions and you would end up building a bunch of things but really not moving forward really not having anything complete really not having something that you could actually put out into the world and actually get something back and then for the ideas that move you backwards, of course, you want to avoid those. I don't think you'll have very many of those. So really be very selective in terms of what ideas you decide to pursue. Keep track of all the ideas that you get, but really try to make sure that before you, you execute on an idea, you know, before you add on to your plan with something new, that it's actually adding on to your plan, not adding to your plan. So it's like, you know, whenever you're building a building, if you want to build a skyscraper, you want to make sure that every action you're taking is making that skyscraper bigger. And I know that's not how you build a skyscraper, but you know, you want to build each story upwards, right? You want to make sure you're adding on to what you're already doing. You don't want to add to and build another building next to it and another building next to it. And then you never have a skyscraper. You just have a bunch of one story unfinished buildings. So that's really the guidance that I get for you. That's also the challenge is, you know, being selective with the ideas and the guidance is make sure that the ones that you pick are ones that will move you forward. And it sounds like you're doing really great and otherwise everything is just, it's just gonna be very positive. Just be patient and make sure you are consistent throughout the month with the actions and following the plan to make your idea a reality. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe and I will see you in my next video.